Welcome back. Now let's dig into hyperparathyroidism. Like I always say, once you know one extreme, learning the opposite is going to be way easier. Hyperparathyroidism is the overactivity of the parathyroid gland causing too much PTH to be released and too much calcium absorbed in the blood. Now what causes hyperparathyroidism? Why would someone be diagnosed with this condition? There are two types of hyperparathyroidism, primary and secondary. In primary hyperparathyroidism, a tumor or enlargement of one or more of the parathyroid glands causes that overproduction of PTH. This then causes high calcium levels in the blood, which can result in a variety of health problems. Secondary hyperparathyroidism is caused by a condition outside of the parathyroid glands. Conditions like kidney disease or vitamin D deficiency cause low calcium levels in the body. Over time, the parathyroid gland compensates by increasing parathyroid hormone levels to fight to keep the calcium level up in its standard range. Because the parathyroid gland is fighting really hard to compensate here, we may see enlargement of the glands because they're working so hard. Essentially, primary causes are ones that directly affect the parathyroid gland and secondary causes are ones that stem from another disease unrelated to the parathyroid. For signs and symptoms, think of the saying, stones, bones, abdominal groans, and psychiatric moans. For stones, we refer to kidney stones and excess urination called polyuria. For bones, we refer to classic bone-related complications like osteoporosis, arthritis, and bone pain. Abdominal groans refers to our GI system of indigestion, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and abdominal pain. And mental moans refers to the effects on the central nervous system. Remember, calcium affects muscles in nearly every major organ, so we see symptoms of psychosis, anxiety, lethargy, and memory loss. So we've been diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism. Now, how do we treat it? Because the patient is experiencing an overproduction of parathyroid hormone, our goal is to decrease that production. For primary hyperparathyroidism, we cut out the tumor or get a parathyroidectomy. And for secondary hyperparathyroidism, we need to treat the underlying cause, whatever that may be. And lastly, we must educate our patients on avoiding lithium and thiazide medications. Why? Because these increase calcium in the blood and will worsen our current problem. So now you know the difference between hypo and hyperparathyroidism. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos.